Hey everyone, today or tomorrow I've got part two of Just Tell Me the Truth About Christmas coming out. And it addresses the historical view from the church's perspective and from the secular perspective. It addresses actual dates. It addresses the primary sources where we find information. But before that video comes out, I wanted to uh, do a real quick video and remind people that at the end of the day, we have to choose what system of academic understanding we abide by when it comes to determining what is truth to us. In academia today, there are two general schools of thought, one declining, one gaining. Those two schools of thought historically are referred to as textual criticism and higher criticism. Textual criticism is what I abide by. I use primary written sources and secondaries that refer to primaries uh, to determine what I believe to be objective historical fact. My criticism has to be limited to uh, what is or is not uh, documented uh, or verified by archaeology. The other is called higher criticism. Higher criticism is a way of thinking uh, newer uh, that developed during the um, age of modernism and in postmodernism. What higher criticism allows us to do is to question sources based on our own subjectivity. For example, uh, some scrutiny came around the writings of Josephus, Antiquities. That is one of the non-biblical sources that makes reference to Jesus Christ. Well, a higher critic can say, well, I think perhaps this part of Josephus' writings are forged. And they can have that theory and they can present evidence. And if people agree and it matches their worldview, they can uh, abide by it. Well, a textual critic might look at that situation and go, well, if that's the case, then all of Josephus' writings are unreliable for telling us anything. Because why can we pinpoint one area and say a historian was inaccurate and made something up, but everything else is solid? Now remember, Josephus was either born at the time or near the time of uh, Christ's crucifixion and resurrection or slightly uh, before, because he's writing about the uh, fall of Jerusalem and the temple in 70 AD. We also have the same type of scenario that takes place with, um, you know, writers like Pliny the Younger, who was a first or second century historian, and uh, Tacitus, the Roman historian, who makes reference to the story of the resurrection. Again, uh, when it comes to uh, textual criticism, we say, hey, this is really strong evidence. Here you have a Roman historian writing about this character, Jesus. Uh, Another great example uh, comes from Jewish sources, the Talmud, which uh, began its construction and writing uh, in 250 BC, 250 years before Christ was born. And it's the rabbinic teachings and writings that took place all through his life. Well, they make countless references to Jesus. And I think they offer the best evidence of all because they don't say very good things about Jesus. But if you say, hey, my neighbor Jim, I hate his guts because he steals stuff from me constantly. Well, we at least know then that Jim exists, regardless of what the criticism is or is not of that person. So it's not like they wrote and said, yes, he was the son of God. No, they, they uh, lambasted him and called him a sorcerer, right? So these things are important. My videos come from the perspective of textual criticism. I do think higher criticism is valuable. Um, I'll give you a perfect example of a place where I do think it's valuable. Um, I think it's okay for us to ask questions of primary sources, to scrutinize them, to wonder um, if there are not revisions, right? Um, I think higher criticism is great if we accept the reality of human nature uh, when we use it. Uh, anyway, so in the next video, we're going to do part two of uh, the truth about Christmas, and we're going to cover a great deal of detail uh, about it uh, that wasn't covered in the first video. Uh, thinking of all of you as always, and I uh, hope you have uh, a great uh, rest of your week. It's Monday where I'm at, and we got some snow over the weekend, which is really nice. Uh, talk to you soon. Merry Christmas.